Okay, you guys, I'm going to show you how I use my leaf overlay. I have my leaf overlay opened in Photoshop, and I also have the photo that I'm going to put the leaves on opened in Photoshop. Captured by Carrie Photography shot me over this photo to use for my tutorial. Isn't that little girl's feet? Okay, so let's go back over to our leaves. And inside of this group, there are a few leaf layers. We're just going to make sure this is folded up like that. We're going to go up here to our tab, and we need to just grab it and drag it down. This is so that way we can grab our whole group over here of leaves and drag it and drop it onto our photo. You can't just drag and drop the file onto your photo um, because, it, in my experience at least, you won't. Um, it won't keep your layers, it'll just put it on as one single layer of leaves, which you don't want. All right, let's close out our, our leaf file here. We don't need that anymore. So our leaves are over here on our picture. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is rotate my leaves. So I'm going to go transform and rotate 90 degrees because the leaves were um, in landscape, and this picture is portrait. Okay, let's go in here and talk about the different the different um, leaf layers. We have foreground leaves. These are the big the big blobs. These are supposed to look like they are very close to the camera and out of focus. We're going to turn those off. We have our background leaves. These are supposed to be behind your subject. I'm going to turn those off, and now we're left with our focal plane leaves. Um, so go back up here to the top, the whole group, and select that, and you can hit Control T or Edit Free Transform. We need to size our leaves so they look real. If you click this little box, your leaves will not be distorted. Okay, these leaves need to be bigger in order to look real. You can drag them around, figure out which ones you like the best, and where you want them to be. I like it right there. Okay. Now let's go back down to our, our focal plane layer mask. Click on it and grab a black brush. We need to mask off the leaves that don't look good. So, you usually want to get rid of the focal plane leaves off of the ground in front of, actually anywhere on the ground. You really don't want focal plane leaves. They should be in the air. So anywhere on the ground in front of your subject, you don't want focal plane leaves. This leaf doesn't really match the photo. Neither does that one. You don't need to keep a whole lot of leaves. Usually just a few does the trick. Looks good. Okay, another thing you can do, let's say you want this leaf right here moved. All you have to do is click on your, on your leaf layer, grab the selection tool here, go around it, and then hit Control T, and then you can move it around. Oh, it went up there where my mask was. Where do I want it, though? OK, 
I actually like it there. And I'm going to go back over to my layer mask. Let's deselect real quick. And I'm going to grab a white brush just to make sure there that I wasn't masking off that area where that leaf is. Okay. Also, we need to change the color of our leaves to match. So attached to every single leaf layer is a hue sat adjustment layer. You can double click on that. And this is just going to uh, change the color of the leaves for the layer that it's clipped to. So um, I like the orange, but maybe they're a little too bright. There, I like that. You can play with all three sliders to get the look that you want. Okay. Now let's go up to our background leaves, turn them on. Uh, first of all, they're the wrong color. So let's just go ahead and go up here to our hue sat, double click it. And there, that was easy. Okay, and then go to our background leaves. Let's go to the layer mask. Make sure we have a black brush. Background leaves should not be anywhere on your subject or in front of your subject. So you grab that black brush and you paint your whole subject here and everything in front of your subject. Alright, that's done. Now let's turn on our foreground leaves. Let's get the color right on these first. Double click the hue set. Now, um, the foreground leaves are meant to look like they are very close to the camera and they look best when they are around the edges framing your subject. So now that I have the right color, let's go down here and click on the layer and I'm going to grab my tool here and just drag it around so I can get those blurry leaves right where I want them. I think I like that. Okay. And then go to the mask with a black paintbrush. And foreground leaves can be in front of your subject, or on your subject. Um, but if it doesn't look good, get rid of it. Like, I don't like the blob right here on the front of her dress. It doesn't look pretty. So let's get rid of that. And I'm just going to go over her whole face and dress just to make sure we don't have any blobs on her. Okay, and then, um, you know, I think, I think I like it. So let's do a before and after. There's the before, and there's the after. You know what, actually I am going to get rid of this right here. I didn't like that, and maybe that too. But I, I love these little blobs up here and down here. I think that's really pretty. Okay, so before and after. Thanks for watching. Bye.